How you doing? So, made it down on the next load from when you last saw me. And we took that piece of machinery down to Yuma, drug it back up, so the last one that you saw, I got a little bit dehydrated. And um, had some couple developments in between there. And uh, we're gonna cowboy up today, do a little cowboy trucking, so stick around. So we're down here in Phoenix, we're over here at a hay farm and picking up 47,000 pounds of hay, uh, going on some swervy back roads through some mountains, so <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Uh, but it's going to be interesting because I've never hauled hay before. Uh, I'm excited to do so and it's a, it's a good load headed over to Oklahoma, so can't complain one way or the other. But we're going to get this done, we're going to get it on, get it loaded, I need to get prepared. Well, we ran back over to the Flying J. Uh, well, we, we didn't run, we drove. But went to go inside to get a shower and there are eight people in line in the dead middle of the day. What is going on, Phoenix? That's just, that is abnormal. But anyway, we can't wait around for eight showers to open up because Lord knows how long that would take. So we're gonna get down the road and uh, suck, suck it up, tough it out, and uh, shower up later. So, down the road we go. All right, well, we didn't make it too far. Uh, we, are, we stopped in Winslow, Arizona. Um, you know, we decided I said we, what do I have, a mouse in my pocket? Um, I decided that I'm just gonna slow roll this load on over to the Tulsa area. We're headed over, it's north of Tulsa. You saw the load back up, you know, from Yuma. And, you know, that the load, because of the heat exhaustion, because of how long it took to, to load, wind up costing me an extra day. Um, luckily, it paid well enough that it really covered three days. So, and then on top of that, you know, the really good fuel mileage that I got being that both loads were light, we were in good shape. But the, um, when that morning, you know, or the, the day that I went to unload that, we were trying to pick up another load and we booked a load and it canceled. And then we booked another load and it canceled. And we talked it out. I say we, that's my buddy. He's, he's guiding me along in this journey of learning the spot market. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we both kind of said, you know what, let's just throw in the towel. It's going to be late anyway. You know, maybe we can look for a load, you know, either at the close of the day, because apparently that's, you know, when some brokers throw some loads on the load board or at the very beginning of the next morning. So I was still perusing the load board because you know, I just, I have to. And so I was doing that all day and I wound up finding a really super short hop that was paying pretty good. Booked that, got the rate con, then got the call that the load canceled. And I was like, God dang it, what is going on? So, you know, after that, I I stayed positive. I stayed positive. I. For some reason, I knew deep down inside I was gonna get something good. So as I kicked that machinery off, right after that, there was a Quiznos close by, so I said, you know what? I'm going to get some Quiznos, because I like Baja chicken. Went and got me a Baja chicken sandwich, and was sitting there eating it, and as I was taking the last bite, uh, I get a phone call, and hot load alert, heck yeah. So, 
picked up a hot load going down to the Phoenix area. So Phoenix already good to go into and then a hot load going into Phoenix. So that load paid 276 per mile to the truck. So jackpot on that one. And um, you know, yeah, it, it, was, it was a super light load. It was only two pickup trucks. Got to use the ramps for the first time. Uh, but being that it was such a hot load, I, I, I could have gotten a picture, but I forgot. So I forgot to get a picture, unfortunately and didn't have time to get video. And I'm for, you know, next time I will try to get that. I'm definitely gonna throw that in the vlog at some point. Matter of fact, I have a really good load to call on tomorrow and that one requires ramps. So first thing in the morning, that's what we're doing. We are calling on that one. Anyway, I digress. So, you know, took that down there and unfortunately, you know, on the, like, we got down there and to kick off two pickup trucks, they were adamant about me not driving anything onto the trailer or off the trailer. So I had to wait and it took them an hour and a half to unload two pickup trucks. So had to push this load back, uh, pick this one up, load of hay and <laughs> yeah, you already saw that, but um, you know, it's, it's paying pretty decent as well going over, but the issue was that I needed to get this loaded yesterday so that way I could put down, you know, just a, just a few miles and then, or, you know, even maybe stay put, stay overnight and then get a, get a super, super early start and really knock down those miles. That way I could grab another weekend load. But unfortunately it just didn't work out that way. So we're slow rolling. Uh, I could have ran, I mean, I really couldn't even ran recaps next week. You know, last Sunday was the day that I got heat exhaustion, so I wouldn't have picked up very many hours Sunday night. So all in all, ultimate decision, executive decision was, we're just gonna slow roll and cruise. So sounds good to me. Plus we can pick our own hours that we wanna drive. Um, not that, uh, you know, we're the earliest risers in the world, but there goes that whole we thing again. Not that I'm the earliest riser in the world, but, um, you know, I do like to drive a little bit early, you know, knock some, uh, knock some miles down before, you know, the truck stops kind of wake up. So we'll be fine on the parking for the rest of the weekend. And then whenever we get over to that Tulsa area, we're going to be in good shape. So only 967 miles to go over the next two days. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, I hope I didn't miss my shower. I gotta go take a shower. I'll be back in a minute. I told you we were cowboying it up today. There's only one thing left to say. Y'all stay driven. You know, we are, uh, we got our rabbit's foot in our pocket. <laughs> there goes the Wii again. What is wrong with me? Okay, we're gonna try to take that out of our vocabulary, out of our, there's a, this is getting ridiculous. I don't have multiple personality disorder, not that I know of, yes you do. Totally forgot where I was at. Great. Love it when that happens. No you don't. We're not mad about it. You know, there was a comment on one of the videos that said, I'm the corniest truck driver out there. Might be right. 